Okay, a quick chapter, Introduction to Financial Products and Customer Needs. We're going to talk about benefits, financial products, and customer needs. So with benefits, we're talking about, you know, you can receive a benefit in an unpredictable um, event or in a predictable event. Unpredictable is like death. If it, uh, predictable would be like a savings product. It could then be for immediate uh, consumption, such as an annuity, or it could be the accumulation of disposable income and capital. Sorry, that's the annuity. Immediate consumption would be like a lump sum. Within our financial products, we've got insurance companies. You know, you pay us a, a premium now, and we'll cover you if anything goes wrong in your future. Reinsurance is just insurance is insurance. Uh, pension is where you put a little bit of money into a fund. It grows up, and it can pay you back in retirement. It can also pay you on death and in withdrawal. Uh, a similar one would be just a, a vehicle such as an investment scheme, uh, but normally be for a shorter period. And then you've got um, derivatives, you know, call options, put options, and they're instruments that depend on the value of an underlying asset or variable. And then we have customers' needs. We've got logical needs determined by an analysis and prioritization. You know, so this would be like protection against death, accumulation for a purpose, um, and stuff like that. Then there's also emotional um, you know, what are their feelings, what do they want, and so it's more behavioral, and like, so they want more income, you know, because of greed, or they've got the fear or guilt of not protecting dependents. Then they have current needs, like, uh, which affects them immediately, like a sickness, and then there's the future need, you know, wanting to retire at a certain age. And yeah, that's basically the, the chapter, those are the points, it's really quick. Don't get too stressed out about it. Awesome.